Enter the fairy godfather, backwards, looking rather like an overloaded Christmas tree. To the kids in the Princess Louise Hospital at Kensington, he's the funny man who brings the toys. To his friends, he's always known as Bunny. To the hospital superintendent, he's the chap who sends up the patient's spirits. To Matron, he's the bloke who sends up their temperatures with excitement. But to most people, he's the poor henpecked man who's always getting into trouble. Robertson Hare. The Happy Hospital, they call it, and it lives up to its name when Uncle Bunny comes visiting on these afternoons when there's no matinee and he isn't having his trousers dragged off or being forced to hide in grandfather clocks on the stage. She knows what she wants, the biggest, and she gets it. She's learned already that men have their uses when you want a present out of them. It's almost worth coming into hospital just to get all these buckshee toys. Won't their brothers and sisters be jealous on visiting day? He almost forgot the star piece, a lifelike imitation of himself, bald head and all. What offers for this handsome doll? But the kids don't even look at it. They're too busy with the other toys. Until Bunny says, how about coming home with me? Matron has to insist that some of the youngsters stay behind. But as for the ones that have got better and are nearly ready to go home, well, an outing will do them good. So off they go with their favorite uncle. Hmm, not a bad joint, this. Do themselves well, these actors. Must be money in being a comic if he can afford all these trains and railway lines and things. Wasted on him, of course. Can't even put a bridge up properly. She'll show him. Men are so helpless over practical things. Here, let me try. You'll never do it that way. Call yourself a man and can't even manage your own toys without help. So once more, Bunny isn't master in his own house. Oh, calamity!